Okay, you guys, I am going to teach you the basics of wood burning in five minutes. So this is going to be a quick video. We're going to get right into it. I'm going to talk a little fast because we are going to get through all the basics super fast so you can get started. Okay, so here we go. Let's do this. Five minutes. First, you need a piece of wood. Birch, pine, and basswood are all options that are readily available in your arts and crafts stores or online. Use a fine grit, sandpaper, and sand your wood surface until it is buttery smooth. You don't want any rough spots or dings or nicks in the wood. You want it to be a nice, smooth surface. The next thing you need is a template to follow along. You can make one on your own computer using Word or Photoshop or you can buy them on websites like Etsy. Just purchase, download, and print. Once you have your template, print it on your home printer. Template, place, adjust, tape, carbon underneath, Okay, our template's ready to go, but before we get to it, let's talk about safety. Some woods can be toxic when you burn them. The fumes can be toxic to inhale. So just always wear a mask. No matter what wood you're burning, even if the fumes aren't toxic, it's not good to be breathing in that smoke all day long. So get a respirator. This is the 3M respirator with organic vapor filters. I'll put a link below. You can check that out. You can also get Jate finger guards. These are gonna help you with heat protection for your fingers. Check those out below. You can use a craft burner like Chandler Tool or Walnut Hollow. These are really inexpensive. You can get them online or you can get them in your arts and craft stores. They range anywhere from $15 all the way up to 35. Or you can go with a professional kit like this Coalwood Super Pro 2. The tips are much easier to change and they have more features to offer than the craft burners. Professional kits can range anywhere from $100 to $500 depending on the brand and the options in the kit. I'm using a straight edge tip here. This is gonna help you get nice, crisp, clean outside lines. I like to use these for outlining the artwork. It creates a nice barrier. So when you get ready to fill in the insides, you've got this nice crisp outline. You don't end up The key thing to remember when you're new to wood burning is to keep your heat low and go slow. Okay, now it's time to fill in. So what I like to do is add texture. This is just a straight line pattern like this. Filling in with a bit of texture gives it more visual appeal and adds an overall better finished look. Get creative here and try different textures and tips and experiment with a look that you love. Here's another texture pattern that I create using the shader tip. It creates like a nice horseshoe pattern inside the lettering and it just gives it more visual appeal. Okay, we are completely done with the burn. Now let's finish it. Once you've finished filling in all of your artwork, you can start to add more finished details. You can add color using stains, inks or acrylics, watercolor pencils. You can even use paper, fabrics, string art. Don't be afraid to get creative with your work. Just keep in mind as you're learning to wood burn that this is your art. Practice, experiment, test, explore. It's your art to do with whatever you want. Get creative and explore as many options for adding color as you want. Now it's time to varnish. I'm using a lacquer spray here. It is easy to use and it dries quickly, but you can also explore with different varnishes. Danish oils, spar urethane, wipe on polys, UV sprays. There are a ton of options out there. This is another area where you can experiment and find the varnish or sealant that you love. 
Now it's time to add a backer. I like to use a sawtooth hanger for my wall art. Or for this particular piece, I'm gonna add handles because this is going to be a sink cover. And now we're all finished. I hope you enjoyed watching this wood burning basics in five minutes. Thanks you guys for watching this video. I really hope that you got some good info in five minutes. And if you want more in-depth stuff, you can follow me here on the channel. I've got lots of tutorials. You can follow me on the blog. I'm always giving all my free stuff there too. And I've got courses and books. So if you want to learn more about pyrography, you want to get really in-depth with it, hop on over to the website and look at all the stuff I've got going on over there. If you want to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, I post different tips and tutorials there as well that I don't put on here on YouTube. So follow me over there too. Thanks for watching.